cool Tyler. So the easy thing about this is you, they literally have these interlocking channels that the channels just slide on in. Amazing. So, Butter. And so the, the important thing is since this is a grill island, it actually has these ventilation cutouts because if there's a gas leak, the gas needs to actually be able to dissipate out of the out of the structure. So what we do is we pre-cut these ventilation cutouts top and bottom. And we got them on, on both the side panels and also on the back. Well, I like is how light it is. I mean, so far, like 20 minutes to put this thing together. That's right. Let's rock and roll. So behind the refrigerator on the mock system, you're gonna see these interlocking channels. And what these are for is these little panels, they actually just slide right in like that. And what these are designed for is, refrigerator can actually move uh, front and back. It's got a little bit of movement. So what these panels do is keep the refrigerator nice in place so it doesn't move back on it. All right, so we're working on the layout here and what we have set up so far is we have the grill islands here on the right side. And then on the, on the left-hand side, we have the bar island um, set up. But what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the individual pieces and how they go together. So come on in. So the easy thing about these, or the, the mock system, is they actually have these interlocking channels um, that just, on the end of the panels, basically just slide them in. So our mock system is a little bit different. So we use a different material here. Um, we use a marine grade composite. So the panels do have a little bit of flex to them. So what we do with these uh, islands is we actually use uh, bracing panels just because the panels do have a little bit of movement and it re really keeps everything tight and rigid once it's all together. So what we got Tyler doing here is we have these two panels on the bar island. And what these are designed for is there's gonna be a 31 inch combination drawer that goes here and it has a frame to it. So what we're doing is we're sliding these panels in so that there's actually a platform for that appliance to sit on so it doesn't sag. All right, so we're getting ready to slide the uh, countertop on for the bar island. And what you're gonna notice is the system is designed to actually slide right into these um, little rivets on the top of the panels. And then we have the kind of the female side here. So that what we're gonna do is when we put it on, we're gonna slide them into these channels and it's gonna lock inside. There it is. All right, so what we're doing here is we have the appliances that actually have to go into these, these cutouts here. Um, the appliances, however, do get screwed in. So what these do, they lock into these channels on the inside of the panel. And then once we lock these in, we'll use these to screw the uh, appliance flanges too so that it actually attaches to the island. We attach those pieces on the inside of the uh, islands. So what the, um, all the appliances, except for the grill or any appliance that drops in, just simply needs to be attached to those panels on the inside. So you just wanna slide the structure of the appliance in, and then I'll take these screws and then just bolt um, the inside of the appliance flange into those inside panels. So with our mox system, it's a little bit different than our concrete islands. The, uh, the mox islands will require an insulated jacket, so that's what we're gonna put together so that that can slide in before we put the grill in place. All right, so we got the jacket put together. We're just gonna slide it in place before we slide that nice, beautiful coyote grill in. So we get a lot of questions about the differences between our mock system and our concrete islands. So, you know, some of the major differences between the two systems is going to be with our mock system, it actually goes together and installs much quicker. Although our concrete islands do still, you know, go together relatively quick, the mock system can be installed in about half the time. 
it's also a much lighter weight system. So with mocks, it's generally gonna be about half the weight of our concrete islands. But with our concrete islands, you can customize them a little bit more than, than our mock system. So with mocks, you get you know, pretty generic kind of out of the box um, designs. You don't really have the ability to make the islands longer or put the appliances where you really like to. So some people like the customization of our concrete islands over the mock system. But if you are looking for something that's relatively simple, can be put together really quickly, and also is a very lightweight system, this could be a great option for you.